Hey folks, we're out here today to ask you the question, are you ready? Are you ready for what is inevitable for all of us, the day of our death, the day of our judgment? Without revelation from God, how could any of us be ready? How could we know what we need to know in order to be ready for what happens after this life? And of course, what you do in this mat this life matters a lot, and we're not merely looking at what happens after this life, but this life is short, this life is something that will come and go, and we don't know really how much time we have in this world. I'm going to give a message out of a book in the Bible called the Book of Ecclesiastes. It's a, a book, and all likelihood written by Solomon, written by the man who was, in the ancient world, one of the wisest men who lived. But he was a man who also went astray in many ways. He was a man who lived his life for the things of this world. He lived his life for the pleasures of this world. He had 300 wives, 700 concubines. He had servants. He had vineyards. He had all sorts of gardens and parks and pools of water. He had pretty much everything that anyone could ever want. And yet in the end, Solomon said this. said the words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of vanity, says the preacher, all is vanity. So he says, it's emptiness, it's meaninglessness. He says, what does man gain by all the toil at which he toils under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises, the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and goes round to the north. Around and around goes the wind and on its circuits the wind returns. All streams run to the sea, but the sea is not full. To the place where the streams flow, there they flow again. All things are full of weariness and man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with the seeing nor the ear with hearing. What has been will be, and what has been done will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. What has been done will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun.